What's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over the top five ways to make money in Red Dead 2 online to date that we know of. I'm Bandit Barney, bringing you everything you need to know about Red Dead Online and Red Dead 2. Thank you for joining us. I want to start out by saying that starting a private lobby with your friends and then doing one of these money making methods will maximize your profits because you'll also be getting extra XP, gold nuggets, and around 40 to 50 extra dollars each. 25 to 30 minutes if you do that essentially this involves joining a story mode mission and then not completing a certain task and then you can go out and hunt now there's certain methods this will work for during on this list there's certain that they won't i'll mention those to you if you want more in-depth information on how to get a private lobby we'll link a video down below and how to do that we're not going over that we're going to go over the top five routes that you can take to make money in red dead online at the moment the first one is one of the funnest ones, but it's not necessarily the most effective in, in terms of just getting that cash up. It's really fun though. It's over in Tall Trees. So if you go to the Manzanita Post Fast Travel, to the southwest of that, there are these four cabins. And by these four abandoned cabins is uh, the area called the Sleeping Cougar. And it's basically every time you go here, the first time you show up, there's a cougar that's sleeping on a fence. And it, when I say every time, I mean like nine out of 10 times you go to these cabins. There's a cougar who will be sleeping on the fence. You can kill him and get that pelt in that carcass. It's worth a lot of money. By these four cabins is also a bear spawn and a gang hideout will spawn here. So there's a lot of action that can go on by these four cabins. Once you hit that, Normally it'll be a cougar if you're there the first time. Otherwise, grab the bear, the deer that spawn there, or do the gang hideout. You head north. And then as you head north, there's going to be some elk there. There'll be bunnies that you can kill as well. And uh, deer off to the right and left. There are trees here, so it's a little bit harder to hunt here. There's a road that goes in between two uh, rocks and there's little cliffs on the side there. And there's actually a gang ambush that can happen there as well. So kind of adding some excitement to this area. Uh, now, if you're hunting and you don't want to do these gangs, obviously you, you don't need to go to them because you can get a cougar. And if your cougar's three star and you are on your horse while you fight the gangs, they sometimes will shoot your pelts or your cougars and hurt the value in them. So just keep that in mind while you're doing this. If you keep roaming north then over right next to the A in uh, tall trees off to the east of that, there is a cougar spawn there as well. And throughout this entire area, you're gonna have deer running around. The extra nice thing about this spot is that once you've once you've spawned into Manzanita Post, you've gone to those four abandoned cabins, you go north up towards the, around the A of Tall Tree, and then you go back down south. One, you can hit that cougar up north if he spawns there. But two, the cougar at those four cabins spawns in, as far as I know, it's the fastest spawning cougar in the game. If you go up north, do a little hunting, get some deer, whatever, and go back down south, there's a chance that that cougar will have spawned back in. If the cougar doesn't spawn back in, the bear will spawn back in. Now, if you hit the gang hideout when it spawns there, then it'll throw those uh, uh, cougar and bear spawns out of whack a little bit because the camp will be there. Don't worry about it too much. It's the fifth best one on our list. It's a fun one though. The reason that it's not as good as it could be is because it's far away from the butcher and you can only carry one cougar carcass. If you were very effective and a little bit lucky on this route, you could get three cougars, but since you can only have one carcass, they're not as valuable. The pelts, of course, are there. You get the fangs, but the carcasses you're gonna miss out on, which are the best part to those cougars. So that's why this is number five, and it's not higher up on our list. Moving on to number three, which is our Braithwaite Manor rotation. Essentially, you go into roads and then you head west. Now, whether you want to do this or not, it's up to you, but there's a carcass fishing uh, spot out here that works really, really well. Hit it once with the coyote. You can hit, easily hit the coyotes. They spawn on your way over there. And then you throw it down, you get smallmouth bass. You can get a quick 15 bucks out of just putting the coyote in the right spot. A more description on where to do that is in another video. We'll link down below. But move along the western shore of the Braithwaite Manor. You're going to come across deers. You're going to come across a lot of birds. A few heron are on your way down there. And then as you know, you go to the south. You get the panther complete, directly south of Braithwaite Manor. And then you can continue moving on east along the shoreline. This is one. Sorry, I forgot to mention. This is one that will work for you when you do a private lobby. But you will miss out on the cougar uh, or the panther in this one. 
the first method I talked about over by tall trees, that method doesn't work well in a private lobby because private lobbies limit the number of predators that you can hunt. So the cougars, the panthers, the bears, those will be limited in tall trees is very useful for the predators. So don't do that if you're in a private lobby. This one will work in a private lobby, but it's just not as efficient when you can't get the panther. And then you move over along the eastern area where there's the swampy area and you can get your gator meats there. And there's also another uh, egret that spawns over there along with my favorite thing about them is the small gators that spawn over here where you can keep their pelts on your horse and they're worth just as much as the large gator pelts so those are kind of cool and then you just turn your turn your stuff in if you want to make a stop at braithwaite manor you can actually do the jewelry glitch if you're lucky you can get the three different types of jewelry and max out you can get like 25 bucks from that if you're unlucky you'll only keep getting one type of jewelry and you'll max out at like 10 bucks but depending on your luck there, you can make an extra 25 bucks out of that. So there's a lot of different things you can do here. The nice thing about this is when you take your time on this route, you end up earning a lot of money in one lump sum because you're getting the fish, the jewelry, the hunting, the birds, and the panther as well, along with some really good deers. Our third method is a very common one. It's one that works really, really well with the private lobbies, and that is the swamps above Saint Denis. I've talked about this before on this channel. There's a lot of new stuff that came in. That's why we wanted to put this video out, but this method is so good. It still ranks high up there with the different hunting routes you can take to earn money. As you know, the swamps northeast of Saint Denis have tons of gators, tons of birds. It's the best area to go for birds. And as you move west across the bayou and past Lakai and over to the Kansas River, you're going to come across more, uh, what are those those pork things? The, the piquets? I don't think they're the piquets. They're the boars. Sorry, you're going to come across the boars. Don't know why that was so hard to think of. You're also going to come across some more uh, spoonbills and herons as well, uh, as well as they have more gators along that route. And then if you take this route over to even farther west of the Kansas River. Roads above roads has tons and tons of deer, which are really good. So what you can kind of do is you can do, you can start in Saint Denis, go northeast, and then you can go all the way west and then stop by the butcher and roads and then run it back, do the same thing again, and then stop by the butcher in Saint Denis. It's kind of a good area to go back and forth from. It works well when you do that and you'd start the private lobby at the same time with that mission going, you're gonna get the extra gold nuggets and that experience as well. That's why this one is still one of the best money-making routes in Red Dead Online today. And that'll bring us to our second best route, which is probably the funnest route to do on this whole list. I hope funnest is a word, man. I hope it's a word. But this is essentially what we call our tumbleweed route. And I've gone over this in uh, in some detail before, but there's some things that uh, I've added in a, in a change I would make to this. I would start this route by spawning an armadillo. And then what you can do is you can head up towards Twin Rocks. One, there's a possible gang hideout here as well as a condor. Get that condor and start heading west. As you head west, you're gonna come across some PKs and pronghorns. And once you get to about the O of Chola Springs, there's a cougar that spawns there. If that cougar doesn't spawn there, just keep going west and a little bit, so uh, keep going south and a little bit west, and you'll run into him. It's almost, you almost get this cougar every single time. Uh, then you have the Wrath Skeller Fork which is the little um, ranch up there in the north end of the map above Tumbleweed. And that's gonna give you all those horse tonics and staminas, as well as you're gonna get another condor or hawk while you're over there. Running south then, you're gonna run across more pronghorn. There's tons of pronghorns here. And once you get south or west of Tumbleweed, obviously there's some more gang hideouts that you can hit as well as another condor. There's tons of condors in this area. And heading, heading directly south of Tumbleweed, there's that cabin that drops those, shoot, which type of fish is it? I can't remember off the top of my head what the what type of fish it is. I think it's the pike. No, it's not the pike. Uh, it's a $2 fish, trout. It's the trout. So the $2, uh, the three star $2 trouts are gonna drop there out by that uh, little cabin down there. You can get four to six each time and when you do this route a couple times you'll max out and then go turn those in for an easy 20 bucks as well as there's a bunch of pks south of tumbleweed um along with those pronghorns this route is really fun but on top of that it's one of the ones that makes you a lot of money while being fun it's not super repetitive you get a bunch of different action in there you get all the way from cougars to birds as well as the gang hideouts that kind of 
make it a little bit more energetic when you're doing these routes because hunting for a while can get boring boring and repetitive i know that we all know that because we've been on the grind so this route is one that keeps it interesting while as being one of the best money-making hunting routes that's out there and that will bring us to the number one route for the most fun money-making method and it's not fun at all it is by far the best money making method it's just you just can't beat it um it's been that way for a long time and it still is that way and this is the black water sturgeon method all you have to do is stand a little bit out on the uh, shoreline i guess that's the west of Blackwater. right there you're in Blackwater. just stand west on the shoreline south of the docks a bit and get your special lake lure on cast your line in catch those sturgeon and then put one on your horse, catch another, run it to the butcher and sell both. This is gonna net you $4.50 every like two, basically every five minutes you can catch four of these sturgeon. It's super, super effective. So let's see, four times seven, 21. No, that's more, that's 28. And we have an extra dollar off the quarter, 725 each sturgeon gets you. So that's $29 every five minutes that you're doing this. This method is extremely, extremely effective and you almost never run out of sturgeon. Essentially what will happen is there's an area closer. This area right here is closer to the butcher. Every once in a while you run out of sturgeon there. All you have to do is just do a little bit farther walk down south and out on the uh, peninsula part here and you cast off south and there's more sturgeon that spawn here and just once again put one on your horse and walk the other one into the butcher you're going to be selling those each run is going to make you 1450 and you can do each run in two to three minutes it's super super effective super super boring but it's still the best money making method out there i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not subbed already make sure to do that i'm bandit barney thank you for stopping by and until the next one we'll catch you later